Well, hey there, welcome back to the White Farm. It has been quite some time since I've been able to make a video. Uh, life happened, I tell you. Just when I think things are going well, here comes life and just knocks me back down again. <laughs> Nothing serious. Uh, struggled with a cold last week, so I really couldn't make a video. Uh, my voice sounded so scratchy cough and sneeze and all that stuff so took the week off just trying to uh, recover uh, but we're back at it voices back to being okay so here we are back on the white farm we are in December a couple months past the last episode I believe we were in October so what are we doing today well I don't, I don't really know I don't have a plan I'm just gonna wing this episode uh, but you see, we do have a bunch of french fries here. And the reason I started, well, I guess stopped my gameplay at this point to start recording is because we have a good price on french fries. 102,000. Well, let's see. 1560 versus 1221 as the max price. So we're actually in a... Uh, I believe that we have a, yeah, right here, a great demand on french fries. So, boom, it worked out. That's perfect. So we're about to make a bunch of money. Oh, and I got this trailer here. I have never used this trailer. I've never used this trailer, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And so it's working out pretty good. It holds a lot of pallets. So that is making uh, the trips down to the cell points go a little quicker. So, you know, oftentimes I, I get to the end of an episode and then as I play through trying to get to a spot to start another episode, it just doesn't flow well. I just have a problem getting, uh, getting to a spot that's going to be a fairly decent entertainment for you guys. So... I struggled with that. I, I just really didn't know where to us uh, to end my gameplay for this next episode or for this episode. And so uh, I just kind of played a little bit and made a little bit of progress while I was uh, just doing a little bit of gameplay. So we did a large expansion to the farm. You notice I only have $28,000 in the bank. And there's a reason for that. I ended up selling quite a bit of the mixed salad. That wasn't the best time of year to sell it. So the price wasn't great. But it also wasn't terrible. So it was, it was a decent price for it. So I sold a good amount of the mixed salad. Made some cash. I sold some eggs. And also I've added the uh, milk. Oh, what is that? The milk cell mod that automatically sells the milk once a day, I believe it is. So I got to thinking, you know, this is a small farm. I don't have, or probably wouldn't have in real life, the capabilities to transport the milk. I would imagine most of the time on a dairy that is done by a contractor. Probably someone comes and picks up the milk and delivers it to wherever. And so I got to thinking, that's how I want to operate this farm. I'm not going to buy the equipment to to transport the milk. So I'm, I put that mod in, so it automatically sells it. So that is making a little bit of income every day as well. Uh, I think that's about all that I sold. I sold that smaller flatbed trailer. So yeah, so that's where we're all that's where we that's where we are that's where we're at currently uh, spent a little money from those proceeds and bought another field and we'll look at that here in just a moment which field I actually purchased uh, kind of kind of wanted to get another field and it just worked out to be the best option and it actually had some crop ready to harvest on it so I was able to purchase the field and harvest the crop. 
Now the farmer that owned it before me did not take care of the field, so the yield was not great. But that's okay, we got a little bit off of it. So now we have some work to do to get that field ready for planting, and we're actually going to combine that new field with one of the existing fields. Tell you, this French fry factory makes lots and lots of pallets. As a matter of fact, while we are taking pallets, let's go ahead and crank it back up. I don't have many potatoes left in there, so we'll need to bring some down. I would do want to point out that our silage, what was it, grass or shaft? I can't remember. Either way, it is done. So we have 165,000 liters of silage. So yeah, we are doing pretty good. Uh, after that sale, we're back up to almost 75,000. Just shy of 75,000. And this load here should add another, I think it was almost 50,000, 45,000 or so to the bank. And we have some more still at the potato factory. So things are moving along. Uh, it's winter time and I do struggle at times to uh, create content during the winter because there's not always a lot going on and I'm to the point now where contracts aren't as attractive I guess you could say uh, the little bit that you make off the uh, contracts here on this map hardly worth doing when you could just skip a day and move on to making some money <laughs> with the productions. So, I don't know. Oh, oh I did do a contract uh, during the playthrough. The field, I believe it's over there behind the French fry factory had, oh, 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 here's the stew, almost missed that. It had some soybeans on it. And I wanted some soybeans so that I could make some pig food. So I did a contract. I didn't get too many soybeans. But I got a few, so I put those in the silo after the contract was over. So I think that the only other crop that I need in order to make pig food uh, is sorghum. So we're going to plant some of that this spring. So I'm still a good ways off from being able to make the pig food. Which is not a big deal. The pigs are not eating very much uh, up to this point. I don't have many pigs in the pen so they're not eating a lot I do want to be able to make at least a small batch of pig food before this playthrough is over uh, that's not what I'm shooting for as a end goal but uh, it is one of my goals that I would like to do so we should have Probably a partial load. I think there was not very many pallets left over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab those and take them down. Do something different than driving back and forth to the sell point. Although I was yammering on. But we will uh, move into another activity here. Just as soon as I go get these sold. So we'll see you in a moment. All right, got the field boss hooked up to the subsoiler, I guess is what it is. And we're gonna run out here to the field that I purchased. Because I went ahead and harvested it off camera, got some corn. And so now we need to do a little bit of cultivating here turn this over I'm pretty sure we're gonna to need to be plowed let's just double check here real quick yeah it's already showing the weeds and it does need to be plowed now you notice the uh, potato field next to it uh, it does not need to be plowed already took care of that and there is some stones in this field too so we're gonna to have to get rid of that so I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and start around the field this cultivator works pretty good. Well, I guess it's a subsoiler. I keep calling it a cultivator. Uh, but I, I don't like the fact that the weeds grow back afterwards. Uh, 
we get the plow state. It doesn't leave a plowed texture, as you can see back there. It leaves a cultivated texture. And the weeds will grow back. So that's a little bit frustrating. But it is what it is. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's going to take some time to get through this field here. Uh, yeah, it's going to take some time. And what we're going to do uh, once we get done with uh, cultivating this field, we're going to go ahead and knock out this middle section. And we're going to combine the two fields, that little field there that I have the potato potatoes in. And then this one here we're going to combine and have one larger field. I will say a big field because it's not really in the grand scheme of things, but it'll be a larger field. And we'll go ahead and plant that in the spring but we'll go ahead and prep it we need to take some soil samples uh, we're going to probably have to put out some more lime so got a lot of work to do to get this one ready now one thing I do want to try and do coming up when I need to put fertilizer out is we're starting to accumulate quite a bit of slurry and manure so I do want to buy a manure spreader uh, probably something relatively smaller I don't want to get anything too big because I don't have that much manure I will get something smaller for the manure and the uh, slurry I really want to look into maybe something that does the uh, direct injection with a slurry I know that'll cost a little bit more and may require a little bit more horsepower but I think that's the route I want to go uh, yeah so I kind of hate to buy both. Would have been nice to just have one or the other, but I went ahead and put straw in the pigs. I don't know if I put it in the pigs or not, but I did put it in the uh, the cows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put it in the pig pen as well. So I do have both manure and slurry being generated, so we'll have to use both. But that's okay. Uh, I don't often tend to use the, uh, the animal byproducts. For fertilizing it just not something I enjoy doing because it, <laughs> it tends to take a lot longer than just grabbing a sprayer or spreader but uh, we'll do it this playthrough we're going to uh, use the uh, animal products since it is a small farm and we're trying to be uh, profitable and use what we're making so we're going to use those uh, manure products to fertilize the fields but first, I've got a lot of plowing to do. Yeah, this is going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Well, off I go. Well, as you can see, I do have a new plow. I had to get something else because the other, well, what I thought was a subsoiler is not a subsoiler. Well, at least it doesn't let me create fields, uh, so I had to get something different. So I picked up this old John Deere plow, and it's working like a champ. Working like a champ. $10,000, I think it was, so not very expensive. It's only three meters wide, so it doesn't do a very large area but it's I think it's good size for the farm so what I'm working on now is trying to get oh no oh, man I couldn't couldn't stop it from going down there and the uh, field boss moves so slow sometimes that was almost a mistake. Had to turn off the uh, create field real quick. So yeah, I have uh, picked this up, and you see this field over here has already been uh, taken care of. It's been plowed. Uh, I actually ended up running the mulcher through it to kill the weeds, and I picked up the stones, so it is good to go. So I tried to go right down the edge of the grass, so I didn't get in over 
into it and mess it up and have to redo some of the stone collecting. Uh, so we got one strip here left and this field will be combined. We got some work around the top edge. But you see the tractor, the case is over there running the uh, Dagelman stone picker. Trying to get the stones picked up. Now that is the stone picker from the shop. I went down and picked it up. We're just going to use that this time. It does take quite a bit more time using that one, but it's free. So that's good. Let's run back down here to this end of the field. Got a little work uh, to kind of even out the top of this field here with the other one. Uh, this potato field, or the field I had the potatoes in, was a little bit shorter down here on this end. So let's see if we get turned around or try. Let's see, should I go to the corner or angle it in? Hmm. Go to the corner, it's going to get tied into those bushes, but I think. I think I have enough room. Let's see. Just a little too far. That's okay. Let's see. Do we back up? Oh, yeah, it's a little bit off. That's okay. That's okay. And I think that that is weeds there, but let me just chop it down just to. Get it out of there just in case. All right, very good. We have a big field now. That's pretty cool. So if we take a look at the map, in case you're just not sure where this is, it is this field here. Number three and four have now been combined. I wonder why that is showing like that. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So, yep. It's all combined. So, that's a large field that I now have just nearby the farm. So, that is very good. So, we picked up a new plow. Uh, you know, I don't think I'll sell that cultivator. I may just hang on to it. Uh, at least for now. So, the big thing now is to get this field cleaned up with all the stones we'll get that done we'll take some soil samples and then we're going to be looking at getting some lime put out uh, that'll be the next thing to do get it ready for planting because uh, spring will come quickly but we're still doing good uh, with money got 127,000 so uh, doing well I uh, do want to get uh, probably another tractor soon. Been looking, and uh, since there is a Case dealership on this map, I'm thinking about going with Case tractors, uh, at least for the newer ones on the map. And that will kind of just go in line with how the uh, map maker set it up with the dealership and yeah, being a Case dealership. Uh, but I haven't decided which tractor I want to get. Uh, I've been looking at a couple. I do want to get a newer tractor. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But we've made quite a bit of money. And we have a lot of products left to sell. Uh, we'll get down here and hook up to this cultivator. And we'll take a look in the menu. And just, just kind of glance through all the products. Oh, and I missed a spot there. But we can get that with this cultivator one little spot there we go all right let's look at the menu real quick and take a look and see all that we have left so uh, you know i could sell some straw i'll probably need to do that 
a lot of things are green, not bright green, but green. So, for instance, like uh, let's say silage right here. Uh, what what I have in the uh, storage one hundred eighty nine thousand is worth uh, just over sixty nine thousand. Max price I could get seventy one thousand. So I'm right there. So all of these that are in green, I could technically sell right now and still make a pretty good profit. Uh, so if we look down here at the bottom, our total value of all the goods that we have, uh, four hundred thirty five thousand uh, dollars. If we sold everything at max value near about a half a million dollars so we've got a lot a lot in the hopper we won't sell all of it because i am storing some things to try and make some pig food and uh, some of the production so we've got a lot we've got a lot available that we can sell a lot we can use and a lot of stuff that i'm going to have to do something with so yeah, things are about to get busy with selling some of the uh, products that we have on the farm. But with the sales comes some profit, so that is welcome. I'm looking forward to that, uh, getting some profits rolled in here, and we're going to look into tidying up the farm a bit. We've got some things like this potato harvester just kind of hanging out with no home. Got this trailer over here as well. So we need to find some homes for some of these miscellaneous items. We'll get that squared away. And then hopefully we're able to pick up a new tractor here pretty soon. We're in year two of this playthrough. So it's time to start upgrading some things. Anyhow, sorry for the delay on getting uh, videos or content out. Uh, we're still working through. Well, getting some time, <laughs> some free time back. But we'll get there, folks. I do appreciate your patience with me. We'll be back here on the White Farm very, very soon. Thank you for watching. and hope each of you have a great day.